This video is brought to you by Kraft Mac and Cheese. I like it. Hey guys, look at Minecraft D69 here back with another episode of Fact to Op. Today I'm doing the That Type of Person tag by Connor Franta. Um, why am I stalling? Let's get into the questions. I don't necessarily have a favorite, but if it were the one that I eat the most often, it would be dinner. I used to a lot, but I've started to less and less, especially now that I don't eat cereal as much anymore. I don't listen to CDs and I don't have a smartphone, but regardless, I would still listen to the radio. I don't fly often, but I think I prefer the window. I am way too OCD to be a crumpler. I am a fold hot dog or hamburger, whatever, those corners are lining up. I think it makes more sense to shampoo before you body wash because if you wash your body and then you wash your hair, you're going to get whatever is in your hair back onto your body. Actually that's not really great logic, but who needs the logic, that's just my, that's just how I do it. I'm typically relaxed, but it sucks when I get stressed to a point. I'm just like hot and itchy all over, it, it just sucks. I'd like to think that I'm patient, but I'm probably impatient most of the time. I'm not really sure which of the two suit me at the moment, but I hope at least when I grow up that I'll be a scheduled person. Of course little kids have various anticipated careers, but since 4th grade I've wanted to be a video game developer. No way, no how. I cannot and do not pull pranks. Definitely dress down. When I'm inside, I'm pretty much just in my pajamas. When I'm outside, it's usually just t-shirt and shorts. I don't really have a favorite, but my friends would probably say shorts. Because in 9th and 10th grade, those two school years, I wore long pants to school one day. Going back to the anticipated careers, I did want to be a bassist when I was a little kid, but now I would really love to learn piano. I don't really know what the whole thing is with East Coast and West Coast, but I guess if I had to choose it would be East Coast because I'm from New York. There are really upsides to both. If I were ever to travel internationally, I would really like to go to Britain, um, but at the same time, there are a lot of YouTubers and other famous internet people in uh, LA, so I don't know, it's, I, I guess I'd choose London, I guess. I'm not much of a holiday person, but I guess I would choose Christmas because I'm not going to sugarcoat it, gifts. Um, although I do like St. Paddy's Day and July 4th as well because food. I don't know this, I asked my dad and he said full size. I definitely sleep with my door closed. My big fear of the dark when I was a little kid was that for some reason a hitman would come into my house and I guess shoot me or something through the or like so if my door is closed that way I can get a little sense of like something's happening before the hypothetical man kills me. So one side of my bed is up against the wall so I technically always have one side tucked in but I think I prefer not tucked in because it, it it's it's more free and I get like a lot of people like would want to like snuggle up which I get and I, I think I would like to do that occasionally but for the most part especially when it's really hot I like them tucked out. I'm a person who's always afraid of the consequences so stealing isn't something I have done much in my life. Uh, the only things I really stole were like occasionally Lego bricks from my friends. Um, some of them were like, oh, that's a really cool piece, I want that piece. <laughs> but I've never liked shoplifted or anything, I would be way too scared to do that. I'd really rather have neither because piercings, they disturb, well, depending on where they are, disturb me and like, if I get caught on something, this, nah. Um, and uh, tattoos, I don't like the idea of the permanence of them. However, if I did have to choose, I probably would get a tattoo because or because I've thought about like if I got a tattoo, what would it be of? And I don't know where on my body I'd put it, but it would probably be the quote this statement is false. I'm not much of a teeth smiler. I prefer or 
because I feel like my teeth smile when it comes to photos is always looks fake. That's not really what I do, but um, so I I do technically do the for just about every photo though. So I guess that answers that question. Well, back when I lived in New York, uh, there was like a line of trees kind of like in my backyard and along the side of my house. So I guess I would have considered this a yes at the time because I have peed in there. Um, I don't think I've ever pooped in there though. Um, but I don't, in like actual woods, I don't think I've ever done that. I love music a lot and I don't like roller coasters one bit. So yeah, I'm gonna go to a concert. Speaking of music, I would probably choose that of the above two things. Although I do like both a lot. Music, I just, I love to just get lost in music. It's so good. Probably animated because I remember when I was little, I loved to think about like, if I had that black 2D outline, didn't think know the term 2D at the time, but that'd be cool to have. And if things were animated, you'd have a lot less things like, like, cuticle problems or like small scratches like those would not those are not things that happen in animation I'm really an email person for the most part it's convenient and I don't really see reasons not to use it unless you're I mean obviously unless you're sentimental about like letters and stuff which I get um, or if it's like something with an attachment like a birthday like you send someone a package you wouldn't uh, making sending them an email with it wouldn't really make much sense to me um, or if you're sending like a birthday card, then I'd use a, like an actual physical envelope. I did say I preferred concerts over theme parks, but I've never actually been to a concert. I would like to though. If there is a record player in this house, I do not know about it. I'm slightly fluent in Spanish, and I know one sentence in Japanese. Oftentimes after I eat something savory, I want something sweet, and vice versa, so I'm really not sure. Um, I think I might lean towards savory though, just because there are more things that are savory than there are sweet that are like full like portions, I guess. <whistles> Technically, yes. Um, however, I was not the only winner. It was second grade, first of all. Um, and because I was set to skip a grade, they did give me harder words like Antarctica and Tyrannosaurus Rex. Probably some more, and they might have given me easy ones too, but, um... Uh, I did- so I'm gonna count that as a win, even though we ran short on time and had to cut it off with several winners. I don't believe in ghosts, but that doesn't mean I'm 100% sure they don't exist. However, I do believe in aliens. And again, I'm not 100% sure that they exist. And that is it for this episode of Fact to Op. Down below are all 38 questions in this tag, as well as the link to Connor Francis' video. Uh, if you watch this, I recommend you answer these questions too, unless there's some personal information, but still, I'd like to see you do it. Anyway guys, this is LEGO Minecraft 369. I think it's become a habit to blow these off and wipe these off before doing the outro. And, uh, see ya!